Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today is Wednesday of spring break and I am sitting down today to record a video on my thoughts and my experience on week eight of term one of spring 2022. Week eight ended on Sunday. I took a few days off before recording this video. I wanted to decompress a little bit before sitting down and recording this video. And today was the day I scheduled to record this video. As I said earlier, I'm on my spring break and I am pretty happy. I am enjoying my week so far and I am looking forward to a small little vacation this weekend before I start term two of the 2022 spring semester, which begins on Monday. Week eight overall wasn't bad. I did have a few things to complete for my HIM management and leadership class. I had one chapter to read out of the small smaller book, which was really nice because this particular class really had a lot of reading. Definitely this class has taken the number one spot on the amount of reading I've had to do this term. And it was nice to only have to read one chapter. We also had some additional reading to do on strategic planning, which the reading on strategic planning consisted of articles that our teacher put together and asked us to review. We had two discussions during the eighth week. One of them was on strategic planning and the other one was on a similar topic. The assignment during the last week of term one for this particular class that required most of my attention was the final we had. The final consisted of 100 questions and we had 120 minutes to complete the final. Going into the final, I had a very good grade and overall the final was manageable. I did study a little bit but I did not study for too many days as I said earlier I had a very good grade in this class so I really didn't have to focus on getting an excellent grade on my final as long as I got a C or better my grade wouldn't be impacted so that was very achievable I'm really glad that I spent so much time on this class up front and I was able to get myself in a good position going into the eighth week of the term where it really didn't matter too much what I got on my final I was gonna pass no matter what but I was more concerned about maintaining my grade and that's why I needed to score a C or better which I did do and I was very happy that I ended the term on a strong note and I was able to earn the grade that I was wanting for my HIM practicum class things were a lot slower for the last week of the term we had two discussions to complete one of them was on our PPE or our practicum the teacher wanted us to talk about how we were going to incorporate our PPE into our resume and how the PPE has allowed us to gain experience in the field. During week eight, I continued turning in my PPE documents that I unfortunately was not able to turn in during week seven because of a delay in signatures from my facilitator. But my facilitator got back to me with the signed documents early Early during week eight and I was able to submit a few additional documents that I needed to complete towards my PPE or my practicum. The last assignment consisted of a mock RHIA exam. It was not graded but it was a requirement of the class. The mock RHIA exam that we took was online and it was part of the RHIA prep exam book that Ahima has for every certification and in that prep book there's a code that you can use online where you are able to go through the questions in a more realistic setting similar to the one you will experience when you are taking the RHIA at a test center. We were asked to complete the RHIA mock exam number one online and it was I believe three or four hours long. It was very realistic. The time frame was the same one we will have once we take the RHIA exam. I think it's either three or four hours and there were 180 multiple choice questions. I was able to complete the mock RHIA exam in about an hour and 30 minutes but I did not do very well. <laughs> My overall grade turned out to be a D. <laughs> 
but our instructor wanted us to take this mock exam so we could have a baseline going into our capstone class next term. And she did not want us to study. She did not want us to use any books. It was just based on what we knew or based on our ability at that time. And as I stated earlier, the purpose of this mock RHIA exam was to establish a baseline. I believe in my next course, in the capstone course, we will be studying to take the RHIA exam. We will most likely take the RHIA mock exam that we took during the eighth week of the first term, again during the eighth week of term two of the capstone class. But yes, I did not do very well and I was a little taken back by my grade. I thought I was gonna do a little bit better, but it really does, again, give me a baseline and I know the RHIA exam is gonna be a challenging exam. I know the RHIA exam is gonna be the most challenging certification exam I will have to take. As I stated in other videos, for me, the RHIT exam has been the hardest certification exam I've taken through AHIMA. The RHIA builds on the RHIT exam, so I know I will have to focus and study for long hours before I feel like I am ready to go and take the RHIA exam. I don't plan to take the RHIA exam until I believe the fall of 2022, basically later this year. Last year, I was thinking I was going to take it at the end of the summer, but I think I am going to wait until uh, I graduate and give myself a little break and begin studying for the RHIA exam and that will technically put me out towards early fall which I am okay at this point I have accepted that the RHIA is going to be a challenge and that I really do have to focus on preparing and doing well. Overall, week eight was pretty manageable. I was able to complete all my work by Friday. So I've been able to take Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off. I have not done any schoolwork those days, but of course I have continued tutoring. And at the moment I am tutoring 30 hours per week and it has kept me pretty busy. I was very excited to complete all my work by Friday of last week and I was very happy when I finally finished all my schoolwork for the term. I immediately felt a lot better. I noticed a change in my mood and there was a weight lifted off my shoulders. I was ready for some time off. Term two starts on Monday and I will be taking two classes. One of them is an HIM class and it's the capstone class and the other class I will be taking is a requirement for the bachelor's degree in HIM and it's a management class and it is on project management. I have never taken a project management class. I am really looking forward to this class. I feel like I am going to learn a lot and it is also nice to take classes that are not necessarily HIM courses but that can make me a better HIM professional. As of now, I have four classes left before I graduate. I have two classes during term two two of the spring 2022 semester and I have two classes to complete during the summer of 2022. When I originally filmed my video talking about going back to school, I had stated that it was only going to take me a year to complete my bachelor's degree program in HIM and that I was only going to take eight classes. But I later found out that I was not including two classes that are part of the requirements of the bachelor's degree program at this university. The two classes I was not accounting for in that video were two healthcare administration classes that I will be taking this summer. Those two classes will be my last classes. So in the video where I explained that I was going back to school and that I would be graduating in one year and I would be taking eight classes, I mentioned that I would be done by the end of spring 2022 and I would most likely be taking my RHIA in the summer. But because of those two additional healthcare administration classes I will have to complete in the summer of 2022, my graduation date has been pushed back to the end of the summer, more specifically in late August. Time is definitely flying by and I only have four classes left. Basically, I have a semester left of my bachelor's degree program. If you are a student and you are on spring break, I hope you are enjoying your time off before you go back to your busy schedule of being a student. And if you just finished your term and you're on spring break, I want to congratulate you for doing a 
super good job and accomplishing your goal by finishing another term. I also want to say thank you to all my viewers who have opted to follow me during my HIM bachelor's degree journey that I have documented via video. I also want to thank everyone for your support and for your questions and your comments. They really have allowed me to increase my communication with my subscribers and viewers. Overall, I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and for being interested in my journey as an HIM student. I hope to see you during week one of term two of spring semester 2022. Have a good break.